turning back is starting to sound like a really good idea. And just a little further. I have a really bad feeling about this. I think we should turn Come back. Come on, it's okay. Nothing it's... about this place is okay. Come on, we're talking a Halloween party of the century. Which century? What did I tell you? Hey! Come on, Kim. Do you trust me? I trust you. Welcome. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, party's still on? Just a paper cut. Awful sorry about that. Please, come in. You three must be famished. I am digging the scary ambiance. Custom rocks, by the way. Thanks. As is yours. Refreshments are this way. I'm thirsty. Thirsty? We know the feeling. Ah! They're still fresh. Quickly, before I discovered. Knock yourselves out. They are not worth the blood scene they put upon my sleep. Leave my brother alone! You have to find her before. Get her! Don't even think about it. You don't. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Silence, you have. By the pricking of my thumbs. Something wicked this way, come here. What goes on here? Master Chernobog. Mortals, what is the meaning of this? My terms were quite clear. You never said this was a private party, Chernobog. That's Chernobog. We thought this was BYOB. Yeah, bring your own blood. If only I could kill you both. Lady Morgan. Arise, minions. Yes, 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 yes. There will be no more bloodshed. Is that understood? I said, is that understood? Brother Levi, what news? Master Chernobog, Lady Morrigan. Some more guests have arrived and await your greetings. Stow these mortals away. Return shortly. Find that girl. Presenting Master Chernobog and Lady Morrigan. Apologies. I swear I had them waiting right. Masters, there. Luna, so glad you and your comrades could make it. Harriet, Demetrius. Still your pleasantries, Chernobog. It's Chernabog. Just get on with it. Calm yourself, Harriet. Don't mind her. Your summons interrupted a fine hunt we we're in the middle of. Anyway, what's the meaning of this? Why have you called us here? Ugh. I thought just smelled like dogs. Vampires! Stand down. How dare you invite these mongrels into our prison? Come over here and say that, bank face. Silence. Silence, all of you. Just look at yourselves, behaving like petty humans. You all agreed to meet on this chosen ground under the pretense of peace. That goes for all in attendance. I smell them too. They're close. That will be the last of our arrivals. Then the meeting can begin. What's this all about? Slayer sisters, you're late. 
No cause for hostility, Brother Levi. How stupid do you think we are, Chernaboo? It's Chernabog. Whatever. My sister did some scouting. We know we aren't the first ones to join your little meeting, Chernabog. You've got werewolves, witches, and vampires all in one place. Trying to start a war? Quite the contrary. This is a meeting of peace and compromise. Ambush. Please, you have my word. No harm will come to you. You're way too naive for this game, Bex. And you're too paranoid. Very well. But no funny business. Anybody tries anything and they deal with me. And all faithful. Understood. Chernabog and I would like to begin by thanking you all for coming on this night, All Hallows Eve. Lady Morgan and I have gathered each of you to discuss the impending doom that hovers all about the outside world, Slayer Sisters. Being mortals, you are more aware of this than the rest of us. It's true. The mortal world is rattled. The world, as you know, it is tearing itself apart. As is your human nature. You mortals have been so fixated on your pursuit of the light that you've ignored the darkness that has surrounded you all along. There is foul and foul is foul. Shut up! What Shelley says is true. The mortals have lived within their blissful ignorance. But the time has come for them to adapt to the dark. This does not mean that those of us who lurk in the shadows are exempt from any responsibilities. We too must adapt. Though we understand the dark in a way that mortals have forgotten. Our lives as we know it are on the brink of destruction. Rather than hide from the light, we should, at the very least, seek to understand it. Are you proposing an alliance between all of our factions? A decision of this magnitude cannot be made without considering all points of view. We've heard from the mortals. As for the rest of you, what say you? Centuries of experience tells me that despite your infuriating lack of foresight and imagination, the mortals possess an admirable resilience and determination that has surprised my kind more than once. You appreciate life in a way that my kind is forgotten, because for you it is so brief, and therefore precious. Luna, what say you? I think you mortals have overstayed your welcome. It is in your nature to oppose all forces that you do not understand. Your humans coin the phrase, only the strongest will survive. But only if the strongest includes you. Our kind travel as a pack, as a family. Your kind travel alone. You also love to say, the meek shall inherit the earth. Ha, huh. walking contradictions. I hope that this is the truth. If the meek do inherit the earth, then it will be all the easier for our kind to dominate you. One side for and one side against. What say you? Whatever our masters desire. Right. Brother Levi? I must admit, this is not an easy decision to make. I do not envy you in your position, my masters, and will do you bidding whatever you decide. That being said, the mortals are perhaps inferior, but does that mean they must pay the ultimate price? Would we not seek mercy and sanctuary were we in the same predicament? What is your decision, Master Chernabog? Lady Morrigan, will you make peace between our factions? 